Let's say, for example, we are going to Amazon and we are looking for the product to dropship to eBay. And uh, oh, let's say oh, we can take about metal, something from metal, metal detector. Let's take metal detector. Uh, actually, I would not suggest you to uh, dropship this stuff, but uh, uh, why? Because it's electronic. And um, in my training course, I never, I never suggest my students to do anything with the electronic. But it's just for the purpose of this training of this video. I will gonna let's take this one. This is the two clocks, yellow. Let's just for the training purposes. Okay, about the keywords. Remember, this is about the keywords. Okay, how to implement keywords to get your sales up. Okay, let's say. We wanna dropship this from Amazon to eBay, okay? Okay, what this stuff is? This is uh, okay. You are going on a beach and and, and you're just uh, looking for uh, golden rings and uh, uh, whatever all those jewelries what the tourists are losing on the beach. Okay, that's a waterproof metal detector. Okay, let's see if there is any of them on eBay all right if any of them using keywords waterproof metal detector oh my gosh I'm not surprised because 1730 results which means exactly those keywords using on eBay 1730 other sellers isn't that crazy let, just, let me ask you a question. How do you think you can sell your metal detector if you were going to use those keywords, waterproof metal detector? How can you sell it? Do you have uh, any chance at all to sell it? Maybe, yeah, if you go for 11 bucks or 12 or 17 bucks, then you can sell it. But, but this is not the case, guys. Well, I'm not teaching you to cut the price. I'm teaching in my alpha course how to rise the price, how to how to sell for double price. If let's say here, this cost one, uh, 90 bucks, so this would be the probably the minimum what we will gonna sell would be about uh, let's say not less than one fifty dollars for this. That's what I'm teaching in a in a in my alpha course. Okay, but let's say keywords, keywords. Okay, keywords. This is about the keywords. Okay waterproof metal detector this is we got so many competitions here there is no chance i would sell it. i would say there is zero chance to sell it because if you use these keywords there is no chance to sell at all okay what shall we do it's very simple guys we just copy and paste those keywords in in the google okay this is another great tool you can use it for free all right google search use it for free no problems at all so what i'm going to do here i'm going to watch for another keywords here what the google offer me some keywords and then immediately i can see this is another good word here underwater metal detectors okay hmm all right underwater so let me try to change a little bit here and instead of waterproof underwater all right because you see here most of the dropshippers what they do is they just copy and paste all of this or the main part of this all right and that's why you don't have sales guys if you will gonna copy and paste the title from amazon to ebay you will run empty you are gonna just wake up in a poor house that's that's true guys because this doesn't work like this i know many teach this i know just copy paste method it's very popular out there but that's the number one reason why you don't have a sales if you just copy and paste don't do this if you want to have sales okay so you see there is no underwater word here but let us see if this is actually useful for us underwater metal detector if i will gonna use this one what do i have here on ebay 64 
competitors only. Only competition I have. I have only 64 competition. Another 64 instead of 1700. Isn't there a difference? Who using those keywords underwater metal detector. How did I came up with them? Guys, I was not thinking. I was not using any paid tools, no any keyword tools except the Google search engine. And the Google showed me very clearly that there is another words, all right? And you can scroll down here and you can use another words here. You can just test them. Handheld, underwater metal detector. I don't know, maybe this is really excellent keywords here. Maybe the saltwater metal detector is the really one, okay? I don't know. You have to try them, guys. That's what I'm teaching you. That's what I'm teaching in my five-figure dropshipping academy course that please do not use those paid tools. Please do not copy and paste everything, but use a little bit brain and use a little bit what the internet offers us for free because this is the best way how to get sales, okay? If you know how to do this. So this is much more better if you use this. And just, just let me do a, something else, okay? Let me see. We have to locate if... Uh, so let me see if there is anybody selling this. Two clock, all right? There is two clock and uh, the yellow, okay? Let me just go there and see if there is any of those are using actually two clock, two clock with those keywords. If I can locate any competitors at all. Two clock, 270 is similar, but not the same. It's uh, again hundreds and uh, all, all the prices are, you see the high, the high price tags, they, they use them 600, more than 300, they use those keywords, but, but not, I can't see any of those two o'clock and, uh, and uh, yellow, yellow uh, metal detector here. I can't see the same stuff here at least not in the front page all right so this makes me very unique if i were gonna use this i were gonna be on the front page together with another guys who are trying to sell here for 1100 to 200 six, 600 and so on i can put my 450 160 and sell it all day long if I were going to use the right keywords, not only those keywords, not only those ones, but you have to put more keywords into your title, into your description, into your pictures. So complete training, guys, you can take advantage and sign up for my alpha course and you will get complete training or just please follow this simple video this simple text and just get away from all the competitions you don't need this 17 let me go back this 1700 competition here selling waterproof metal detector but you can do it very easy way if you just go away from all the competition with your main keywords okay this is not that's not a that's not all what you have to do of course you have to uh, you have to know how to how to make the title and how to add those keywords to the pictures in a way that you can sell it but at least at least this small tip and this is a really important tip how you start your title your main keywords those are the major pillars one of the major pillars for success for sales if you want to sell sell something please check your main keywords what are your main keywords okay now let me go back here i will show you something more okay let's say this guy waterproof metal detector waterproof metal detector okay why he's selling so much because his price is so low because this is the china product it ships from china okay that's why he's selling them so much but there is another guys who are waterproof metal detector and they sell nothing you see there is no sales here because they are using the same they are using the same 
keywords, metal, waterproof metal detector, together with 17,000, uh, uh, sorry, 1,700 and other sellers. Would you like to be one of them? I don't think so. So guys, use this video, upgrade your titles and get some money from the dropshipping because there is a 